Crowan Gaming. What's up guys, Crowan here bringing you another video. In today's video I'm going to go over some of my macros. Now a lot of people have asked me weird questions about some of my macros so I just thought I'd give you a general overlook of all of my macros and then you know you're set really aren't you like you can't ask me much more uh so first up we have a blackout kick macro i have a few similar ones to this but this specific one obviously cancels my spinning crane kick aura now this is so that when you're casting spinning crane kick sometimes you just don't really want it on like you've got the rogue out of staff you want it off now so you know that's like a thing so it's out of, out of the amount of staff you hit your blackout kick now it cancels it and then the second part of it is start attack so sometimes there's this weird bug where you don't auto attack for some reason so this just automatically starts your attacking for you and then it fixes it it's same similar stuff happens when you right click it just doesn't do it sometimes so you just hit your blackout kick button and then where there you go it start attacking for you and then obviously you cast blackout kick and then the next macro i have is a dispel macro and so basically this does is target my teammate you can either use a name or you can have it bound to party one and two three whatever else uh, and it just basically targets them and dispels them. So I have this bound and I have one for t party two and party... No, myself, party one and party two. And then basically all it does is just target that person and then dispel them. So I don't have to think about the dispel, if you get what I mean. Like, it just goes to them and dispels. I don't... It's really weird, but you don't need to... Uh, a lot of people say you don't need to do that. You can target them and then use it. But if you have this free bind, it's so much faster to not have to target an individual person and then use the spell is you know, rather just you just push the button and then they're dispelled it's so much faster uh next up i have dispel macro this macro no disable sorry what am i about dispel that was the last one disable which basically targets arena enemy one or two or three uh, depending on which one it is and just disables them this is basically so i don't have to target someone like other than the person i want to do damage to disable them and then target back so like let's say it's a warrior and uh that i want to disable and i'm attacking a dk i just disable him even though i'm not targeting him and i'm still doing auto attack damage to the dk so it's just extra damage still uh you know just you gotta remember these little things will help so i've got one of those for each enemy arena target so i don't have to ever target other people and then next up we have a grapple weapon one same concept as disable you just uh automatically disarms the person even though i'm not targeting them or whatever um Next up, we have a Healing Spheres macro. This one cancels the Spinning Crane Kick, same thing as I said to begin with on the Blackout Kick thing. Um, but this one is, uh, you have to put the exclamation point in front of the Healing Sphere because sometimes the targeting reticle, the thing that like appears when you use it, it just disappears sometimes. So you, you put this exclamation point in front of it and then it doesn't get rid of it. It's normally when you're mashing the key, you hit the key like more than once, it sometimes just disappears. And, you know, it's really, really annoying. So that fixes that problem. Next up, we have a jab macro. This same concept as the blackout kick, whatever. So it cancels spinning crane kick, uh, starts attack and jabs. Next up, we have a paralysis macro. And this is obviously the same thing as grapple weapon and disable. Just paralyzes somebody that I'm not targeting. And that when they're stuck in it, they're stuck in it. I don't have to worry about it. It's doing more damage and whatever as well. Next up, we have ring of peace. Uh, obviously this is just targets the person and ring of pieces them saves me time you know it's automatically on the person i'm still doing damage i'm not targeting about trying to do other stuff to other people whatever it's just there and on that player so i have one of these for me and my two teammates uh rising sun kick same thing as blackout kick whatever you know you just have it use your cert have that use your start attack and then rising sun kick straight after um Spinning crane kick, obviously, you know, I just have it bound so you, when you push it once, it starts the, the spinning crane kick, and then when you push it a second time, it cancels it. That helps a lot when you just, you know, you smash the key a couple times to get a rug out of stuff. You hit it twice, and then there, and it uses spinning crane kick, and it's turned it off straight away in the same global, and then you, you've got the rug out, so that's where it's obviously subterfuge procs, and it's like, Arr, but, you know. Uh, next up, we have spear hand strike. Same content as disable and grapple weapon and paralysis, you just... Um, spear hand strike somebody so I can be running next to a healer who's casting and I could just spear hand strike them and they'll get interrupted even though I've never targeted them in that second I'm still attacking somebody else uh, we have a stance stance this is literally just for Miss Weaver I have a similar one for Brewmaster as well but it basically you push it once and it switches whatever stance you're in so if you're in Fierce Tiger it switches to 
Y Serpent. If you're on Y Serpent, it switches you Fierce Tiger. I've just got it. It shows the wrong tooltip. No matter what, it always shows the one that's on the top. So if that annoys you, you can't. It's not going to work for you. But I don't really care. I just have my uh, when I play, I just have move over my uh, thing, so it just I can see which stance I'm in anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. But it'd be cool if it did work that way. So I you can see or whatever it is stance you're in. The other one will show, so you can switch, so you know which one you're in. But it's not like that. So uh, next up, we have battle mode, which literally just is my trinket macro. It pops tiger eye brew and your trinket. I don't use anything else in it because otherwise it would mean because everything else that you would want to use in it is a global. So you've got say you know you want to put in your zuin right? Zuin means you'd have to push it twice, and then that wouldn't actually work in a sense because. If you uh, also you want to have like Zuen used at a different time, I have like Tiger Eye Brew on its own. So this just always, if I pop my trinket, that normally means I want to use any stacks I've haven't already got. So I use that and then to pop out more damage. Basically, it's like when I want to use that, I'm using it for damage. I normally because I'm playing with a rogue, it's a one minute cooldown. So however many stacks I've got, if I've got ten, that's great. If I haven't, I haven't. But I want to pop as all of them. Uh, so it's one minute cooldown with his shadow dance, which is a one minute cooldown as well So I just push it and then if I've got enough for ten if I've got five It doesn't matter. I just want as much extra damage as I can during uh, shadow dance So I can put out the most pressure with him because we just mm, revolve around shadow dance cooldown basically um, So if you haven't got that then you might not want to build it in you might want to have a trinket on its own and have Something else and maybe you have a separate button for all of your cooldowns in one button but uh, I would advise against it for a lot of things like you know, sometimes you don't want to pop Tiger because you've got Paralysis up and the, they're all close together and Paralysis and Zuen. Everyone knows that it's really bad because it just always procs off and gives you damage to someone else. Next up, we have a Target Arena 1 macro. This basically is built in for uh, a lot of people in that you need to have Target Arena 1, 2, 3 rather than tabbing. Because basically, if you use tab to target, you can use it for some stuff. But like, if you, there's somebody behind you... Rather than, you know, turning around to do it, you've already, you push the button, and then you turn around, and then you use the move. Rather than turn around, pu pushing tab, then pushing the button, and, you know, so the move goes off. So, you're saving yourself seconds, kind of. And, you know, it's not always thing, and I'm still kind of getting used to these buttons myself. But, you know, this, it's only these target arena 1, 2, 3, because I didn't have it before. I used to just use tab, and realized I could make myself faster if I used them. So, and that's my advice, always try to get faster. Uh, target enemy player, right? So this, like, in the... This is really weird, right? So in the normal key binding section, when you bind stuff, there's, like, a thing that says target enemy player, right? And then you've got target enemy as well. Those are slower than this macro. I don't know why, like, Hydra said it, so uh, he tests pretty much everything like that. So if it's... Uh, uh, it might be a, like, really small amount, but anything that makes you faster is always better. So, and I kind of trust Hydra on, on that, so I thought, you know what, I'll make that macro myself and just put it in. So I've got a binding for it and, you know, target enemy player. That's literally all you put. And then you bind it instead of whatever you had. I've got minus tab, so, you know, instead of that, you just always have that. Obviously, you still need to have tab for stuff like RBGs and stuff because you can't use target in arena enemy 1, 2, 3. So always still good, great for that. Um, next, we have a Tiger's Lust macro. This literally just, I've got one for me, my partners, whatever else. You know, and this literally just targets them and chucks Tiger's Lust on them. And uh, so they can get out of roots or whatever. Obviously, you've got one for yourself and stuff. So it's just a fancier way of doing it rather than targeting a person and then pushing the button. And uh, we have, lastly, Touch of Death. This literally has cancel everything in it. Because if I'm going to cancel, um, if I push the button and it kills someone in Arena, then I've killed someone, so I don't even care. Uh, if it goes off so you know, it's just like a default button I just didn't want to build it in for a thing so you got cancel spinning crane kick uh, Cancel hand of protection. So if you're low uh, on how if you've got uh, the, you mainly want to cancel hand of protection uh, at times basically when you have like um, Enough health so let's say you've got like it took your healer two seconds to top you and now you're not doing any damage whatever so and they've switched off you or whatever you may as well just cancel Hannah protection and then go and do damage again and so that's what it's there for so it's like you can just cancel it and obviously you know you maybe you can use touch of death at the same time so you just hit it once and then touch of death goes off and then you kill someone so it's great um obviously similar thing with storm earth and fire you might want to pull back your um friends you know most of the time you don't really but like if you want to do more damage like on the single target stance 
yeah, you want to call them back. So you just push that button, it does that. Also, stop casting is there for Zen meditation, if anyone's wondering. Um, so you stop ca uh, casting that. If somebody runs past you with Touch of Death, uh, is ready to go, like, you want to cancel that and then just hit Touch of Death and kill them. So, you know, you want to have that built in anyway. Obviously, it works as well for, like, PvE stuff. Like, if you had it up, um, Touch of Death and you wanted to use it and you was casting a heal and you was playing Miss Weaver, then obviously you need it for that as well. And that's all my macros. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And leave a comment. Um, if you have any macros that I might want to see, I really appreciate if you just left it in the comment so, or whatever. You can even link me to a video or a video response. That'd be great. Um, there's a lot of macros that I feel like I could probably, I probably need, but I haven't thought of them or whatever myself. And it seems Monk's still kind of newish. Um, I feel like there's probably macros I could probably benefit from, but um, these are my macros. I recommend you, if you haven't got them already, test them out yourself, see what the differences are. It's always great to try out other people's macros, even if you aren't going to use them. Um, so I just recommend using them. Anything that makes you faster is always a good thing, especially in video games. So um, I think I'll leave you there, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Soon. Goodbye.